The Mombasa-Nairobi Highway is a lifeline for Kenya. It connects the bustling port city of Mombasa to the capital, Nairobi. This makes it a crucial artery for trade and commerce, but there's a problem. The current road is often congested. This leads to long travel times and delays. Imagine spending 10 hours on a road trip just to go 440 kilometers. That's like driving from New York City to Boston. And then back to New York City again. That's where the Mombasa Nairobi Expressway comes in. This ambitious project aims to cut travel time down to just four and a half hours. That's faster than your average Kenyan marathon runner. This new expressway will be a game changer for Kenya. It will boost trade, create jobs, and make life easier for millions of people. But it's not just about speed. The current road is also dangerous. Accidents are common and the road conditions can be treacherous, especially during the rainy season. The new expressway will be safer with modern safety features and better road conditions. This will save lives and make travel less stressful for everyone. So buckle up Kenya because this expressway is going to be one heck of a ride. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. The Mombasa Nairobi Expressway will be a 440 kilometer dual carriageway expressway. That's like having two highways in one. It will have four to six lanes depending on the section. No more bumper to bumper traffic. And to make sure this project gets off the ground, Kenya is partnering with the private sector. The total cost of the project is estimated at $3.6 billion. Now, that's a lot of shillings. But don't worry, the Kenyan government isn't footing the entire bill. The project is being funded through a public-private partnership, or PPP. This means that private companies will invest in the project and then recoup their investment through tolls. So, basically, if you want to use the expressway, you've got to pay a little fee. But here's the good news. The PPP model means that the project won't put a strain on Kenya's budget and once the expressway is up and running it will generate revenue through tolls. This revenue can then be used to maintain the road and fund other development projects so it's a win-win situation for everyone. Now you might be thinking, hold on Trevor, haven't we heard this all before? And you'd be right, this isn't Kenya's first attempt at building an expressway between Mombasa and Nairobi. Back in 2017, the government signed a deal with an American engineering firm called Bechtel. But that deal went south faster than a wildebeest stampede. The Bechtel deal was valued at a whopping 230 billion shillings. But there was a major problem. The Kenyan government was already drowning in debt, adding another massive project to their plate was like asking a giraffe to carry an elephant. The debt ceiling was a major concern and the government was worried about the financial burden on taxpayers. So in 2019, the government decided to hit the brakes on the Bechtel deal. It was a tough decision, but it was the right one. Kenya couldn't afford to take on that much debt, especially for a project that was already raising eyebrows. This time around, things are different. The new PPPP model ensures that the project is financially sustainable and the government has learned from its past mistakes. The Mombasa-Nairobi Expressway is more than just a road. It's the symbol of Kenya's ambition and its commitment to progress. This expressway is going to be a game changer for Kenya and the entire East African region. It will boost trade and tourism, create jobs and attract foreign investment. Think about it. Goods will be transported faster and more efficiently. Tourists will be able to reach their destinations quicker, spending more time enjoying Kenya's beauty and less time stuck in traffic. And with improved infrastructure, businesses will be more likely to invest in Kenya. This project is a shining example of what can be achieved when governments and the private sector work together. It's a testament to Kenya's vision for a brighter future. So get ready to say Kwaheri to traffic jams and Jambo to a more prosperous Kenya.